King in it talks. Welcome to this week's King in it talks travel with myself, Craig Holmes, and this little freak of nature, Amy Bannister. This is the show where we talk everything travel. So if you're brand spanking new, fresh off the plane, or you've done it before, then you're gonna want to watch these videos. What do I say now? <laughs> About the top then, we talk. This week's we episode tell is you. the. Okay. So this week's episode is the top 10 things that you need. What's, what is it? Everything you need. No. To is the top 10 things that you need when traveling. Like the pure essentials that you're gonna need. And if you don't have them, you may die. Now, just so you know, before we carry on, these things are tried and tested and they were our absolute favorite must-have things whilst you are traveling or backpacking. We're not getting paid by any companies by, for any of this video um, lovely goodness advice that we're gonna give you. Um, but there is a link below, so if you wanted to buy any of them, which you should, because they're very good, then if you buy them through that link, then we get monies off Amazon, so you should do that. There's not just one link though, there's a link for every single item. So if you're like, oh that looks nice, click it, we get paid, I you have that. a great time, I you don't that. die. I knew that. What on God's good? God, God's good earth, oh my God. What on God's good earth is a J pillow, I hear you ask? It is a J shaped pillow. Isn't it? Don't be a knobhead and just buy a crappy circular hoop shaped one from the airport last minute. They're so expensive at the airport, they're like 15 quid. This is 15 quid. <laughs> That's like 25 quid at the airport. <laughs> Top salesman. This thing is expensive in the sense that it's more than your average blow up shitty eBay pillow. Yeah. But look at this. Show them how it works, oh. Aim. Oh, okay. How's it work? <laughs> Which one is it? That's it. Just like that. So you tuck that under. Oh my god, I, I'm not even moving. I'm not like falling forward, falling backwards. This is a great design, Corey. <laughs> it sounds really sarcastic, but it genuinely is really good when you're moving about. On buses, on boats, on airplanes, you need one of these. On my life, you'll be in such uncomfortable places for like 13 hour bus journeys and stuff that you have to sit up for and you know, you can try and stick your legs on Craig and stick your legs around your head. But if you've got one of these, you will sleep like a baby. Got a little clip here, see? This is obviously well used, came around the world with us. Little clip, clip it on your backpack, you need to use it, take it off. Hey presto, happy Good days. Good to go. Brilliant, brilliant that is. Definitely get one of those. 15 quid on Amazon, done. Next you're gonna need one of these. Ding! You're like, what is that? Tell them what it is, isn't it? It's a lock, a lock for your bag. So we took a lot of expensive equipment when we went away and we were a little bit, you know, worried about it being taken or, you know, stolen at the airport in your hostel, la la la. If you get one of these, clip it in, safe as houses. In. What can you say? What are you clipping it? What can you say? But these ones are TSA safe. I have no idea what TSA stands for, but if you go into an airport, then they can open the lock and have a look in your bag to make sure you're not smuggling loads of crack or whatever. Oh. In most hostels, there's like lockers and that, isn't there? Or just have it, because if people see it, they might be like, mm, can't nick his laptop, he's got a lock. These ones are seven quid for two. So, you know, you can have, if you're with a couple, you have one each. I engraved our initials on them, so Amy couldn't be like, that's mine. Because she lost her J-pillow in about three weeks. I don't even know you. So you're off to Thailand, you've got your little screensaver on your desktop and your mum's like, you've got your clean knickers and your bras and everything. And you're like, yes mum. But what you don't know is that you're going there and you're gonna get eaten. You're gonna get eaten alive. Craig is tasty. That's what, that's what they say. That's what they whisper in my ear before they bite me. Girl, you was tasty that like KFC chicken. It's no joke when you've got 36 bites on your legs and you want to pull your skin off. I can't take it anymore. Especially if you're sleeping in like quite cheap hostels that just don't have a net or you know, they've got holes in their wooden floors and they all come out and in. And these little suckers, they tend to attack in the night. So you're gonna wanna get yourself a mosquito net. If you're traveling alone, it'll probably cost you 18 quid on Amazon. And if you're a couple, you're looking at about 25 quid. So these particular mosquito nets are impregnated with Life Systems EX8. 
impregnated. That's what it says on the website. Not quite sure what that means, but I basically think it means that it's just got loads of shit on it that mosquitoes don't like, so they'll come up to him and be like, whoa, and run away. <laughs> but it is essential on my life. You need to like go to your hostel and erect that shit. The mosquito on there. So you need to get either a nail or take some duct tape and just stick it up because it will, honestly, it will be your best friend. So you've got your mozzie net, you're sleeping, you're protected, you're safe. But when you're walking about on the streets, you can't just carry your mozzie net around. You look like a bit of a freak. So this is where you need some mozzie repellent. Now most of this stuff has got like this stuff called detin and it stinks. It stinks real bad. Don't get it in your eyeball. Learn the hard way. Or near your genitalia. <laughs> I went for a pee once after I put it on. But this has got 100% DEET, so it's like the strongest repellent you can get. So lather yourself up with this stuff and you'll be sweet. Yeah. So we went travelling for seven months, we took two bottles and they were liquid each. So it's inevitable, you are going to get bitten. So you want to pair up these next two little items, which are Afterbite and Zap It. So Afterbite is like, it's like a little liquid that you just put on top of it, it like soothes it a little bit. There's ammonia in it, so that'll help. Be nice. Zap it is like a little gun and it gives off like a tiny little electric shock. It doesn't hurt at all. Instead of you scratching your skin, because the worst thing you do is like tear the skin and you spread the venom and it's like <laughs> you zap it, you don't touch it, and it takes away this thing. It's actually magic. So you put your little cream on and you put your little zap on. Good to go. So the zap it is a fiver and the afterbite's three quid, so for eight pounds. I mean I take that over crying and having a nervous breakdown any day. You're going to want to take a portable speaker to get down low with the lads. This one was six pounds. Tenner. This one was ten pound. You can take it everywhere and it's actually really loud as well for how small it is. Yeah, that'd be cool then because like when you go on scooters and stuff and you haven't got a radio. Don't be that guy. You can still be jamming. Don't go away with Amy. So you get to your hostel, it's a piece of shit, and you're like, mum, look at this. Like you're taking loads of pictures, you're listening to music, you got your iPod, and then everything just runs out of charge because the hotel room is so shit that's got no electricity. What you're gonna need is one of these. It's a battery pack. So this is our one, but they don't make it anymore because we bought it ages ago and it's massive. Mm -hmm. But this is basically, you charge it up, and it's got two USB ports, so if your phone dies or your GoPro dies, you just plug it into this, wherever you are, and it, you get like five or six charges out of your phone and your GoPro. How good is that? There's been so many times where we like forgot to charge the GoPro, but this bad boy's been full, and we're just good to go on the road. So this one we put in is the top rated one on Amazon, so we don't want to give you any crap suggestions, and it's also, also got a little torch on it as well. Oh, it's handy. You're looking at around 16 pounds for that one. Adapters, easy to forget. I forgot. Did, did I forget? Of course you did. Amy just thought everyone had the same plugs as us. I took that many things to be honest. I just borrowed everything off Craig. But yeah, definitely make sure you find out where you're going. If you get like, if you go around the world, maybe you can get like a world travel adapter. Well, just get this one. Yeah. How much is that? This one's 16 quid, and you're probably thinking, whoa, it's quite expensive. I was. But. It's got every single plug and it's got two USB ports, which is super helpful. Oh, okay. Top rate you want on Amazon, 100% taking this next time we go traveling. You're gonna shit yourself. Bottom line. Doesn't matter if you eat in the poshest restaurants or if you eat on like a street vendor, you're gonna shit yourself, okay? I was like, not gonna happen to me. My birthday came, so did the diarrhea. What a birthday surprise, Craig. I was back and forth to the toilet all day. But I forgot my Imodium tablets and these things will clog you up within a few hours and then you can just jump in the sea, wash your bum flaps and you're good to go. Wow. So of course I got it from the day I stepped off that plane in Thailand to the day I left because I'm lucky like that. I can't really pinpoint what it was. I think it is just a change in food and a bit of a change in hygiene standards because obviously you can't drink their water or anything and I think, you know, they must prepare some of their food with their water. What not, what not. So yeah, don't be afraid to eat anywhere but you, you might get a bit of a bar belly. Yeah, we used Imodium and we also used, is it Diorolite? They work wicked for hangovers. <laughs> So if you're like really hungover, these will like restore all your electrolytes and all the stuff that you probably threw up the night before. They rehydrate you there. I yeah. think that's what helps you a lot. 
But um, if you do get really bad, go and visit the doctor out there. He he will know exactly what to give you. Doctor Phil, now, yeah. If you do get ill, then go for your doctor or I'll your local GP. Right and they will help you out. Basically, if you shit yourself, you want a <laughs> modium you want a and some diorolites. Cheap as you like. Done. The most important thing of any trip is motherfucking camera. But more importantly, a decent motherfucking camera. We took a variety of cameras, but what I would say is if you just want to take a few little photos and a few cool videos, you don't want any stress, then I would definitely get a GoPro, 100%. Even if you're not even into photography or video, get a GoPro anyway. 150% recommended to anybody out there. If you're unsure of which one to get, then click our website up here because we've done a little write-up on which ones you should get as like a beginner or if you're advanced or etc. But a quick rundown, if you're into editing and you want the best GoPro with the best frames per second, get the GoPro Hero Black. If you're an amateur and you don't really know too much, you just want a worry-free camera, get the GoPro Session. I think that's a great camera. I reckon, yeah. I think it's good, yeah. It's tiny, it's the little black one. It's all waterproof, so you don't have to worry about your case breaking, and you'd be winning with that one. But if you do want to see what you're doing, because sometimes that's better for me, because I'm just like, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, I don't know what I've captured there, then get the, the silver, because that's got a little screen on the back. But yeah, whatever you do, whatever GoPro you get, please edit your shit, there right? There goes. Because they're quite flat. They, they, they can come out great if the sun's out and you know you get a really decent shot, but get Lightroom on your laptop or some editing program where you can just bring out all the colours, especially in a video. Don't just put up a 45 minute video of you like surfing. Edit that shit, you know, make it look good. If you need help, email us. There's the email, I'll personally answer to you. Crack on, sir. Now, if you want to start vlogging, then you're going to want a vlogging camera. So, we've decided to move to a DSLR, which is a 5D Mark II. It's quite old, quite heavy, not the best camera to use. I would suggest if you want the, the top end vlogging camera, get a Canon 70D with a Rode mic. If you just want something that's you can slip in your pocket and get a little Canon S120. That's what we filmed our whole seven month trip on. It's brilliant, yeah, the colours are awesome. I mean, ours did start going a bit faulty after. They lied, how much? 200 pound? 200 quid, cheap as you like. Brilliant, brilliant for video, brilliant for photos. But uh, if you're gonna vlog, then you should. And let us know what your channel's gonna be because we'd love to watch it. Last but by no means least, this absolutely perfect piece of bloody machinery is a Fuji X100S. This is only for like a huge photography enthusiast because it's quite expensive, but it looks like an old film camera. But wait for it. So no one's gonna rob you. Turn that around, Craig. But it's actually digital, look at that. <laughs> There's so many things I could tell you about this camera, but just click the link in the description find out for yourself. How much was it? 800 pounds. It's about 700 quid this one because there's a new one again which is the X100T so if you're gonna go all out then go for that bad boy. This was the only thing I carried around to take photos with when I was in Southeast Asia. Street photography, anything you want. This thing is just naughty. The colours on it are a beautiful rawness. Takes pictures like this and this. Mm. Can you tell we like cameras, yeah? So you're gonna be taking incredible amounts of photos and videos when you're away. You wanna show your mum the camel that you rode the other day and another boat that you went on two weeks ago with your friend Niall. You don't know where you go with it, do you? So you wanna be able to get yourself a hard drive. <laughs> These things are nifty. We went for the Transcend ones. We, this is our sixth one now. We trust yeah. these bad boys with our lives. So you can get them in like 500 gigs, one terabyte, two terabyte. This one's two terabyte, which is about 80 quid. Yeah, you can just take all your stuff off your camera, put it straight onto that, pop it in your bag. But what I would say to do is make sure that you have a nice little list. Put all your stuff in order, you know, Cambodia, nice. Thailand, put the, the Thailand stuff under there and make it neat. Because uh, we struggled for a while because ours was everywhere, wasn't it? Well, yours was, yeah. Nah, bro. So, we, how many have we got? 
Or have we got six of these? I'll give you a fiver if you can tell me all of their names. King one. King two. Oh, this might be easier than I thought. <laughs> Ruby. Ruby reincarnated. <laughs> she died and we brought her back to life. <laughs> Whaley. One more. An original K. Oh no, we've got more. That's it. We've got one more. Which one? Trisha! <laughs> we bought this after we came back from Iceland and we were like, what should we call him? And I was like, Whaley. Because we went whale watching and it was the best bloody day of my life. So if you're gonna go traveling, it's gonna be for like three or four months and you're like, do I take a laptop? Do I risk it? If you're worried about that, then 100% get a hard drive because it'll just give you peace of mind and you can back up all your stuff. But just saying, like we took two Mac laptops so we were absolutely fine. We went, yeah, we went traveling for, how long were we away for to in total? 18 months. And we never got robbed or anything like that. You know, nothing got stolen. You know, we had really good insurance, but don't be afraid. Especially like we've got a drone as well. We took that. Happy days. And the last but not least is a Kindle. You want to take yourself a little Kindle so you can have a little read and a little relax and just learn about the world through the books as well as physically what you're doing. You can have a lot of downtime when you travel and I wasn't much of a reader before like I liked reading but I never had time but when you travel and you're on those long bus journeys book is your best mate like it's only so long you can listen to music so take a Kindle you can just download all your favorite books you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but Amazon do sell them too. Yeah, you can get them on Amazon le legitimately. <laughs> but yeah, instead of having like 16 hardbacks in your backpack, you only just need one of these little bad boys. Look how thin that is. What's this? Kindle. That is a Kindle Paper White, which Amy bought me for my birthday, which is like 110 quid at the time. Oh yeah. No, I bought it for myself, actually. <laughs> so cheers for that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> to me, from me. And if it dies on you, then you've got your battery pack so you can just charge it. So And then while you're reaching for your battery pack, if a mosquito bites you, you're covered mate, for all of that. See how good we are to you? This list took us so long to figure out and now we're just giving it to you for free. So have some of that. I, ju I just have to say, like I know some things are quite expensive on it, like, like the pillow, but you will use it. And the mosquito net, you will use it. Like we're not just saying this to make up 10. This is happening. Like you've got it. You've got to get them. And you're gonna have a great time. Oh my god! Please email us. Tell us where you're going. I get so excited for people. I'm just like, send me loads of pictures. I'm like their mum. I'm like, I'll take it. You know, you got this. You got that. Got your visas. Oh, brilliant. One more thing that is essential when you go travelling is some King in It merch, which is still available on the shop. We got some caps. We got some T-shirts. So go and pimp yourself out. And I've got a real good idea, and we really want to bring out some vest tops soon. They look sick. I've had one pre-made. It looks sick on me because I'm the coolest. So yeah, watch this space for those soon. So if you're new, then thank you so much for watching, and please click subscribe. And if you liked the video, give us a little thumbs up and a comment below. And if you're not new, then God bless your soul. Thank you so much for sticking with us, for being our best mates, for always being there for us. When I want to cry, I can come and cry to you, I know I can. If you want to come around for tea, for a sleepover, you know, if you've got a dog that you want to bring around, because I love dogs. Um, so, um, thanks. Bye! Bye. King in it. Rule your own world. Thanks so much for watching King in it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Craig. And this little carrot. Is Amy Bannister? Don't say that because I've got really bad fake tan on. If you'd like to become a patron... Why are you being all posh for? I'm not being posh, that's how I speak. <laughs> and we've got Snapchat. Is that going to go by there? <laughs> Snapchat and Facebook and Twitter. And Instagram. So uh, have a click on them and see what you like. Please subscribe to us. And thanks for watching. One, two, three, bye! One, <laughs> Psych!